Okay, for our start today's fight cage setup guide for Windows PC, if you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss out on the upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it also helps out my channel too, for which I'm always appreciative of. So I covered fight cage a little while back, but we just recently had a brand new stable release and this one has improved a lot of things. So what we're going to do first is actually head over to the website and this is available for us we can see windows 7 8 10 and 11 mac os and also linux and what this system does is allows you to play lots of arcade type games online and it's surprisingly very simple to get this one running so we're going to download it for windows now i've already downloaded this it's on my desktop so let's just go for the installation process if i double left click on that executable i've just downloaded do you want to install Fightcade? Yes. Next thing we need to do is establish a location for this to install to. So as you can see, by default, it's going to go into my documents folder and it's going to create a folder in there called Fightcade. Now, if you fancy having this installed anywhere else, all we need to do is left click on that folder. And let me give you an example. If I right click on my desktop, go to new folder, I'm just going to call this FC for Fightcade. What I'm then going to do is just go to desktop and I'm going to find that FC folder there. If I press OK and I press OK, it's going to then start installing and unpacking things into that FC folder like I've just asked it to do. And there it is. So we're just going to wait for that one to finish installing for now. OK, it's also going to start installing DirectX too. So just allow it to do this. And here we go. So we also need to set up DirectX. So I accept the agreement and go to next and next. And we're just going to wait patiently for this one to install. This can take a little bit of time. Okay, once that's done, we're going to go to finish. And that's it. Everything's now done. So, Fight Cage was successfully installed. Just okay. And here we go. Here's Fight Cage. So, if we now delete the installer executable, just right click on it and delete. And as we can see, we've now got that ready to go. Now, we need to add games to this, so this is why I partially recommend putting your FC or Fight Cage folder into a place you can find easily. If I go in the FC folder, we've got a few different subfolders here. If I go to ROMs, this is where we're going to drag and drop our games. Now, games need to be region specific. Uh, for this case, what I'm going to be doing is using a Dreamcast game. So, I've got Marble versus Capcom 2. And this is in CHD format or file extension. It works fine. So obviously this is going to go into Flycast because Flycast is partially a Dreamcast emulator. We can also see here that this system cover of Super Nintendo. And we've also got Neo Geo support as well. But anyways, I'm going to go into Flycast ROMs. And in here, I'm going to drag in that Marvel vs. Capcom game. So that's it. What we're going to do next is open up the application itself. So just go to Fight K2. Okay, so once we're in, what we're going to need to do, if this is your first time using Fightcade, it's going to ask you to sign up and register. Simply put in a username and a password in your email address. Re-enter your username and your password and you're in. That's all there is to it. Now, I've got Marble vs. Capcom just here because I was using this just before I did this video today. What we can do is just go down to the search bar just there or magnifying glass. This is going to tell us here what games we can actually play using the fight cage system if we take a look at the tops just here we're going to find 913 637 and so on that just tells us how popular some of these games are so currently for street fighter 3 third strike we've got 913 people here playing this game or ready to play this game so this is a new feature to the latest fight cage i don't remember on the order video i did this feature being there so what I'm going to do is just take you through a different few different things here. So we've got settings wheel just here. And just here, it's going to tell us our details, the email address and the password. And of course, at the top, I've also got my Fightcade ID. We also got different options just here, such as smoothing input lag. I'm going to set this one to automatic. I've got my Xbox controller set up through Bluetooth for this. we got ranked player. I'm going to enable this. And we also got prevent Wi-Fi VPN challenges. If you fancy doing this, then just check it. We also got prevent low quality challenges. Entirely up to if you want to enable or keep this feature disabled. 
if I just shut out there and go to the top search games just here, I'm going to type in at the top for this example, Marvel vs. Capcom. So if I just put Marvel vs. Capcom. Now, as you've seen just a minute ago, this is the game for Dreamcast I put into that Flycast folder. If I open this, just left click on it. And once you choose a game, you'll likely see a little symbol or rather a circle on the side just here. If I left click on this one, we can find here on the side, we got lots of different users and these users are looking to play. So what we need to do first was just actually test if our game is working. So if I go to test game, and now of course because my Dreamcast game is in the Flycast folder, if I go to start game, here we go, it opens up Flycast and if I double left click, So as we can see, this is working fine. So I don't need to go into that, but what we're going to do next is actually look for someone to play with. So all we need to do is literally just left click or double left click on one of the users just here. And in the main part just here where my cursor is, it's going to tell us if the other user wants to play that game with you. As we can see, this user is rejected my challenge. So we're going to try the next one down. You are challenged. And at the bottom here, we're going to find send message. If we just type in there, and we can type anything we want, really. So here we go. I just sent a message to this particular user. And hopefully he might get back to me and accept my challenge. So what else has just come on here, literally? So we've also got flags just here of the different countries these people are in. So let's try the German user. Okay, so as we see, someone's just said hello to me. So what I'm going to put is just fancy a game. Okay, and as we can see, this user has said no. He's just been cooked in the match. So let's try someone else. So anyway, I'm going to give that up uh, because we can be waiting here for a long time. So this is how you do it. You just pick the game you want. As long as your game is in those folders in the fight cave directory, you're pretty much good to go. Sometimes you can be waiting for a while to have a game with someone. Other times, not. And that's it for today's Fight Cade quick setup guide. So as you can see, a very cool system. Unfortunately for me, while still in this video, no one wanted to fight with me. Someone just got cooked, as you've seen just there. But anyways, that's it for today's video. If you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe, and like so you don't miss on upcoming retro emulation content. Also, feel free to join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.